Hey, this is Adam with Tech Dive AV Club, and today I'm drawing a tree to show you how to use text based editing and how useful it is for very quickly arriving at a concise edit with the content that you wanted to say. Let's take a look at the clip as is. So that branches continue to fork off at random points, and they always kind of go up. So if you kind of keep splitting light touches and a white eraser helps a lot. Break off, have some depth. They'll go off into kind of little ghost sticks at some point where the depth of the leaves should kind of... And uh, maybe some grass. We got a treat. So there's a lot of dead time and some things I didn't want to say. So what I'm going to do is select the clip and go to Tools, go to AI Speech to Text. Here I can analyze the clip and turn my speech into text. With the drop down menu, I'm going to select text based editing. Here I can select any single word I've said and remove it from the timeline. With Auto Ripple enabled in the corner, it'll automatically squish the video back together when I remove it. So I can select multiple lines by holding Shift and dragging my mouse over what I don't want to say, and then hit Delete. I'm going to remove the bit about the eraser. I don't think that's necessary. Next, I'm going to remove the long pauses. Pauses are denoted by a yellow clock and timestamp. You can select and delete these as well. Now, I've very quickly seen the content that I want to keep and the content I wanted to get rid of. I can spruce it up some more in the timeline like normal, but the majority of the work is already done for me. Let's see what we got. So when you draw a tree, I'm a pretty good tree drawer, you just kind of got to start with a root. The roots really sell it. Go lower down on the other side, don't go as high up, and kind of give it another root. And give it a third root, kind of up the middle here. Next we're going to bring off a branch, and remember that branches continue to fork off at random points. And they always kind of go up, so if you kind of keep splitting your tree different points and they keep going up it'll start looking like a tree i usually like to try to make the main trunk break off have some depth continue to go all sorts of different directions i'm on my last branch here gonna go off into kind of little ghost sticks some point where the depth of the leaves should kind of give the illusion that they're kind of being covered up by different different leaves I'm going to kind of give it a, an impression of kind of leaf bunches. We're going to kind of finish it off with some kind of trailing lines. Give it some depth. Gives it an idea that there's some kind of bark, some texture to the tree. These lines will kind of follow the contours you kind of already created. And I usually like to sell it by giving it some, some ground around it and uh, maybe some grass. And we got a tree. This is AI text-based editing, which is one of the many AI tools that are now available with Vegas Pro 22.